Let's go! Let's go everyone! Kokomi finally getting a buff! Finally getting the love that she deserves! I am so happy right now! Now on screen right now you can see my current Kokomi build. She is built quite poorly but she still does 25k and the ones from the stream you guys know and if you're wondering how she's getting a buff she is going to get a new artifact set so make sure that you drop a like and subscribe to the channel so that your farming for either husk or ocean huge clam goes well and make sure you don't miss any future streams because we will be farming for this set live when it drops now this artifact set is a bit of an essay but Basically, you are going to get a bubble accumulated from healing and overhealing and this bubble is going to do at a maximum of 27k damage. Now what I have been hearing recently is that the healing is the healing you do to the active character and every other single character. So I think you will hit that 30k threshold and you will be doing around 27k damage every 3 seconds off of Kokomi if this is true. I am excited. Now what will these bubbles look like you may be wondering. Well personally I assume they're gonna look something like these bubbles from that battle scene with Kokomi that we had before. Obviously though it says we'll only have one bubble at a time so maybe it'll be these bubbles but a tiny bit bigger. But either way this is looking pretty cool because after Kokomi came out I was thinking Wait a minute, why doesn't my Kokomi make bubbles? But guess what? Your Kokomi is gonna make bubbles. Gonna be calling her Bubble Blowing Kokomi the main DPS. Come on. But as I was saying, I am really excited for this. And now we're gonna move on to what does this mean for Kokomi? Now, what I'm assuming is going to happen is Kokomi, people are gonna take her as a bit less of a joke, right? They're going to take this character that some of us love a bit more seriously. Now for me, I am going to invest into my Kokomi a lot more. I knew that these artifact sets were coming so I didn't continue to farm for the ones that I currently already had because if she's getting her own set then obviously we're going to have to kick this up a notch. And one thing you need to make sure is whatever set you have on Kokomi right now, you do replace this with her new set. And I'm hoping what this means is that maybe on Kokomi's rerun, she might get more sales, who knows, but just look at this character, alright? Look at how amazing this character is. How can you genuinely hate a character like this? This is probably one of the best design characters in the whole game, and you know what one of the best design characters needs, right? They need the best possible artifacts. So. I am hoping that this makes Kokomi go from one of the worst 5 stars in many people's opinions, not mine, but brings in a, bringing her up to like an S or an A tier character, but we can only hope, like come on, look at those attack animations, tell me if that isn't pure elegance. As of right now though for me and my Kokomi, I am going to be going for an R5 prototype Amber as I'm assuming that the extra healing generated from the prototype amber will actually be accumulated in the bubble but of course I'm going to test this out when the new artifact set comes out by probably putting it on like Mingguan, a character that doesn't usually heal and I think I'm going to get my Kokomi and her weapon to level 90 and get her talents to 10, 9, 10. Yes I'm going to be double crowning my Kokomi because if I'm honest I love this character and I think that everyone should too. I think everybody should be able to see how great Kokomi truly can be. I want all the people that skipped Kokomi because they thought she was bad to be like, oh, I wish I got me a Kokomi now, right? And with that being said, I hope you all have a great day and I wish you good luck on your artifact farming and I hope that you all have a great 2.3.